Today, we're turning a five pound chunk of aluminum into a precision aerospace part, all on the DMG Mori DMU-40. We start by clamping the stock in a fifth axis dovetail fixture. In this operation, we rough and finish all the outer surfaces, including the bottom of the part. That way, all the critical surfaces and print datums are machined in one go. For the first pass, we're using a half inch, three flute, 45 degree helix chip breaker from Helical, running at 14,000 RPM and 125 inches per minute. Once that's done, we rotate the part and go into four axis simultaneous roughing, basically using the mill like a lathe with a short tool for better rigidity. Then it's on to 3D surfacing with a half inch, three flute ball end mill at 16,000 RPM, finishing the part at a 25 degree angle. One of the tightest tolerance features is a conical surface with a 50 micron profile tolerance tied to three datums. We're using the DMU-40's five axis capabilities to do a swarf cut, leaving a smooth and accurate finish without the need for surfacing or form tools. Next, we tackle the bottom holes using a quarter inch extra long tapered ball end mill. The shallow depth and filleted edges make this tool a convenient choice. We wrap up OP1 with a couple more five axis swarf passes to complete the underside of the part. Two to rough and finish, and one final path to nearly separate the part from the remaining stock. Very similar to a lathe part off operation. Then it's time to switch setups. We mount the part into a custom fixture we designed in-house. It supports the outside while we hollow out the core down to just one millimeter thick. With the part locked in, we start cutting the inside. We go in with the same half inch helical chip breaker using an adaptive toolpath. We had to use some coolant here as ramping into a pocket has a high risk of gumming up the tool with aluminum, which could be an expensive mistake. After the initial roughing, we jump into a five axis simultaneous semi-finishing pass, still using the same tool, but now leaving a consistent amount of stock for the finisher. Now, it's time to switch to a long reach, three quarter inch, three flute bullnose end mill at 15,000 RPM. Using a non-traditional plunge finishing strategy takes care of the tight fillet at the bottom while still being able to take large step overs. To finish it all off, we deburr the part using the same tapered ball end mill as before, and the part's done. The final weight of the part went from five pounds down to just one tenth of a pound. So if you like this video, then subscribe to our channel for more content.